Millions of blocks from 2B2T spawn, lay a base called the Five Isles. One of 2B2T's most creative bases. The amount of detail and precision the players put into this base is insane. It was a location where only a select few could let their imaginations run wild. Today in this video, you'll learn about the history of the Five Isles and how it was eventually discovered. This story begins on July 22nd, 2020. After the losses of Mu Megabase and Poseidon and the compromisation of Encursion earlier that year, a player named Crowbar01 eventually stumbled upon a unique location millions of blocks from spawn, where five mushroom islands stood near one another. It was a find too good to be true, and Crowbar knew instantly that this would be a perfect spot to build something truly special. He envisioned a grand castle on each island, each with its own distinct style. However, this location would be put on hold as he was invited to work on a new base, Whitehaven, in early August 2020. Months passed, and Whitehaven flourished, but in May 2021, disaster struck, the base was compromised. Crowbar had always been content to work on his projects alone, but after experiencing the joys of collaboration at Whitehaven, he knew he couldn't return to working alone. So, he reached out to some of his closest friends on the server, DarkXL6, Underscore Gigo, SMCZ19, Joey Coconut, Turban, and Whalen, and invited them to join him on a grand adventure to the Mushroom Islands. At the heart of the islands was a stash in the nether that provided them with all the materials they needed to build their dream creations. Tunnels stemming from the stash led to portals on the five main islands. As they set to work, each player took up residence on their own respective island, each with its own theme. Eventually, the members settled on these five islands. Amanidia, X-Isle, Celestis, the Atlantic Isle, and Phenomena. When Joey Coconut set out to create Amanidia in September 2021, he knew he wanted to build something unique. He had spent months experimenting with different themes, but something clicked once he stumbled upon the idea of a mushroom-themed base. And so, he dove into his creation, building one mushroom after another. As the months passed, Joey Coconut's creation grew more and more ambitious. In January 2022, he built a tall mushroom tower and double obelisk, and in the following months, he added a giant alien ship, an enormous tree, and a ring of brown mushrooms. May and June were spent building the nine-headed Venus flytrap. The rest of 2022 was spent perfecting the isle, experimenting with building blocks like netherrack and sponges to create mushrooms with different gradients. Dark XL6 built X Isle. He set out to create a world where ancient and modern worlds collided. He envisioned a long lost civilization that once thrived on the X Isle, worshipping a powerful spire that held within it pockets of a rare mineral known as Silentheum. These ancient people believed that by performing rituals, they could awaken the spire and use its power to grow crops bountifully. Modern day adventurers eventually found the X Isle and uncovered the secrets of the Silent Theum and set out to harness its power for their experiments. But as they delved deeper into the island's mysteries, they realized they had unleashed a force beyond their control. The Tesla coil they used to power the substations that reinvigorate the spire had unexpected consequences, leading to disastrous tests on the spire, the plants, and the creatures that call the X Isle home. For Celestis, Underscore Giga was inspired after watching a Minecraft video with a build with mechanical elements like shafts and gears, which got him thinking. He envisioned an island that was not just an island, but a celestial clock, gears, and cogs protruding from its surface like an intricate mechanism. An island full of strange and wondrous creatures like flora unlike anything else. To him, this vision seemed perfect. Gigo started building in July 2021 for a couple of months. Around that time, the owner of 2B2T, Housemaster, ran a 1.19 test server and, possibly using new blocks, slabs, and stairs put a hold on the build. After this, Gigo took almost a year off from 2B2T, returning in August 2022, and continued working on his island. When SMZZ19 first set out to build on the Atlantic Isle, he was filled with uncertainty and doubt. He had no apparent theme in mind and wasn't sure where to start. But as he began to shape the landscape in World Painter, an idea began to take shape. In July 2022, he was inspired by the first towers from Crowbar's Incursion, and he knew that this was the direction he wanted to explore. He began work on the first two towers and a small gazebo near the sea. 
Crowbar had always been known to create wondrous structures, which was also the case for the island of Phenomena. In September 2021, he set to work on 2B Tutti, building trees and shaping the landscape to his liking. But one of the trees was struck by lightning and burned down. This setback only served to fuel Crowbar's creativity. He knew that if he were going to make Phenomena safe from lightning while maintaining a good look, he would have to think outside the box. And so, he began creating an extensive and detailed sky roof, complete with a black sphere, explosions, and trails to cover the island. By mid-September 2022, Crowbar had completed his main island, but he wasn't done yet. In August 2022, he began building ships entitled The Jolly Anarchist and Queen Anarchy's Revenge, and accompanied them with coral reefs that were the successor to those he made at Poseidon. He spent the rest of the year populating phenomena with various animals and villagers, turning his island into a living and breathing world of wonder and imagination. Crowbar and Joey Coconut built an airship battle between Crowbar's airships and Joey's alien ships through mid to late 2022. Crowbar started the process with one of his airships shooting, which Joey Coconut followed with the construction of an exploding alien ship. Crowbar built an exploding airship afterward, and Joey built an alien ship shooting it with a beam of electricity. And with the basemates combined, this is what they created. There were plans to build many underwater structures, like tubes and tunnels, much more coral, etc. Their goal was to eventually populate the whole ocean floor with small builds around the isles, and more battling ships were to be built as well. However, as is the case with most bases on 2B2T, the Five Isles days were numbered. During a lull in activity at the base, the Five Isles were discovered by a player named 6WJ in mid-December 2022. He was following a boat phase trail millions of blocks from spawn, eventually leading him to the Five Isles. With another player named Key Bison, they were able to steal the base's main stash. After nearly finishing moving the stash, they contacted the base members. Once the base members discovered the stash had been stolen, they became concerned about the security of the base's location. Joey Coconut and Crowbar were forced to self-grief the base on December 16th, 2022. On January 8th, 2023, Crowbar posted renders created by Turban of the Five Isles on the 2B2T subreddit. Most of the community was amazed at the amount of detail and creativity that was made. Since there were few world downloads taken of the Five Isles, Turban had to stitch together world downloads which will eventually be added to the archive for everyone to visit. And there's also a world download in the description. Five Isles was more than just a collection of blocks. It was a symphony of ambition, creativity, and the very essence of Minecraft. In a world where 2B2T is often seen as a chaotic hellscape filled with nothing but PvPers and griefers, it's easy to forget the beauty that can be found on this server. Crowbar is far from finished and intends to build more bases in the future. From what he told me, another base will be revealed soon.